Yo, we're back again with another UAB Dynasty. All right, guys, let's be real. This might be the end of an era, another, an end of another era. When Justin Kelly left the first time, I was like, okay, we're going to start sucking again. But then Kenny Wright happened. And I was like, yo, this is fine. And then Aaron Hardy happened. And I was like, yo, this is more than okay. So, I'm left here in a situation now where we are probably going to lose a lot of good players. We're not even, I don't even know if we're going to be a 99 overall team next year. That's how good this team was. I don't know if this was the best team ever, but this was definitely one of the better teams that we've had as far as how dynamic it was. Probably the most dynamic team that we've had. Um, best defense that we've had probably the entire dynasty. We gave up. We gave up. Um, we gave up more than twenty points. I think once or twice. Twice. No, nope, wait. One, two, three times this year. Never mind. Three times this year we gave up more than twenty. Um, we even hosted a shutout against Ohio State. Granted, they were terrible, but a shutout's a shutout. So. We'll have to see, man. But a lot of games where we gave up only 10 points, a lot of games where we only gave up like 14, 13, 14, 0. Okay, we gave up 20, we gave up 21, 20 or more four times this year. Four, one, one, two, three, five, actually. But we still have the number one scoring defense in the country at 17 points per game. Um Man, this offseason is gonna really hurt. I'm not ready for this at all. I'm not. I'm just not ready. Who is going to be the next guy, though? Who is going to be that next generational talent? Who is going to be the next guy? Seven years, ex seven year extension. Target wins per year eleven. Yes, I want to go with this contract. Florida's looking for a head coach. Oregon's looking for a head coach. I, I'm just, I don't know if I'm ready for this, man. I don't know if I'm ready. My heart won't take it. My heart is not ready for this, man. Ugh. All right, let's let's see how many hearts are gonna be broken. I'm probably gonna cry a little. Oh, oh, okay, this isn't good. Um.
Oh, yeah. He'll be a first-round draft pick next year. Yeah, you are. Oh, you suck. Kevin Owens. Do you put... No, I don't play Fortnite. I'm like one of the... Maybe like the only person on the planet that doesn't play Fortnite, but I have a reason that I don't play Fortnite. First round draft. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven first round draft picks. Seven! Because I want him to come back for another year. Jermaine McAfee's got to get higher draft stock. They they all could get better draft stocks. If they come out a year early, they're not going to get... They're, are they, are they going to be satisfied with being picked in the fourth fucking round? Yeah, they're going to get pro... They're going to be pros, but they could be better pros if they were a first round draft pick. For one, seven first round draft picks. No, I can't let them go pro. They could get better draft stocks. Wow, Keenan Brown didn't go pro? Wow. 95 overall player deciding not to go pro. 92. TJ Marshall's not going pro? Dude, we need we need to have a talk, TJ. Wow. TJ Marshall's not going pro. Neither is Jelani Bell, even though he's a really good punter. Four time or he was he was a um one of the top punters. No, it's not even because he's a fullback, man. Like, I've seen fullbacks get drafted. They, 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 they have draft status in this. 95, 95 overall defensive tackle decides to not go pro. When we have Jermaine Robinson that plays pretty much the same position or in the same line as Keenan Brown is a 7th round draft pick. 7th round draft pick. 4th round draft pick. He might go undrafted, but TJ Marshall's a definite pro. He is a hell of a player. I am playing this on 360. Kenny Wright, obvious. First round draft pick. Jonathan Johnson, first round draft pick. Aaron Hardy, first round draft pick. William Clark, first round draft pick. David Wright, first round draft pick. Larry Wynn, first round draft pick. Kevin Owens, first round draft pick. I am just in awe that TJ Marshall's not even a fifth round draft pick. He's at least a worth... He doesn't have, like, the best speed ever. But for a fullback at 85 speed, he could make himself a really good power back. He has great acceleration, great awareness... Has great carrying ability. This dude is a stud. I could check out Alabama's, but they only have one first round draft pick. A bunch of seconds and a third and a sixth. The only team I really care about is mine, though. I just care about my first round draft picks, honestly. Like, we had seven first round draft picks. We could have had more draft picks if, you know, they were going pro, but they're not. Transfer request. 
Hell yeah, let's do it. Unbelievable, man. I can't believe TJ is not going pro. <sighs> Just that's the. Uh... Wow. No transfer requests. Sad. Sad. Sad cause mad cause bad. All right, recruiting time, yeah. Let's do it. Whoop, whoop. Who do we have a chance at? Tell me when to stop. I think there's only like three guys that I want. And it's these three right here. Jeff Williams, Dedrick Dorsey, and Charles Swain. What new tradition have I started at UAB? A winning, a 100 game winning streak tradition. One hundred games. Oh, he's garbage. Oh. No, I wouldn't have gotten him anyway. I think these are the only three players that I truly care about getting. And I'm either in the lead or I'm not very far behind in all of these. So if I get 5,000 on each player. I think we're safe. I think we're safe here. Yes, we're back at it again with the offseason stream. Let's see if we get at least, I'll be happy with two or three. If we get all three, great. If I only get one, I'm going to be pretty pissed. If we get none of them, I'm going to cry my eyes out.
Mm. There's only three guys on that board that I really, really want. Ugh. We got all three! Let's go! Oh, that's killer! Oh, we just made this team so much better! Oh, this team is dangerous! Oh my god! I don't care about you. I don't care about you. I don't care. Oh my god, do flex show while streaming? Like that? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna flex. You gotta flex for the recruiting power of UAB, man. Get a good old flex in there, man. That is incredible. Oh my sweet Jesus. I can't believe that actually happened. We got all three of them. Last year when I tried something similar to that, I didn't get many players out of that. So these are all of our new players. We got an 85 overall punter, an 80 overall um, uh, offensive lineman, 80 overall defensive tackle, 79 receivers, 78 tackle, uh, 58 or 78 strong safety, 78 athlete, uh, 76 kicker, <clears throat> 75. Uh, corner, 74 corners, 70 tackles, 68 defensive end, 68 strong safety, another 68 strong safety, 67 corners, another 67 corner, 67 quarterback, but he's a scrambler and he does have decent speed. Um, I'd have to look at that again though. 64 offense, outside linebacker, 62 outside linebacker, 59 defensive tackle, 56 defensive end. And 56 defensive end. Although I don't think these guys are scholarship athletes. Uh, but they did commit to UAB. I don't think I gave them scholarships. But I think they're playing for us. Um, so look at, let's take a look at the top classes in the NCAA. And we are number one once again. With the most five star recruits. Miami is in there with us. Um... They also got five four-star recruits. We got three or 15 three-star recruits for the total grand total of 23 athletes signed. That is incredible. We are number one in the recruiting class again with only two scholarships remaining too. Oh, we're going to have to cut some players. We are going to have to cut some players. This is going to be the toughest year yet, man. And I say that, and yet we go undefeated. All right. Let's see what we can do. Quarterback. We got an 85. We got a 75 overall speed quarterback. Redshirt freshman. He might actually get some playing time. Jay Harris, on the other hand, I don't know. But Justin Austin. Definite player here. Because <clears throat> we do have a senior right now as, as Wesley Thompson. Oof. Um, halfbacks, Jermaine. Look at all these running backs that are just so solid at, ugh. So many good running backs. Fullback. Man, it's going to suck for fullback this year. That's, that's our big downfall. It's hard to get fullbacks. Mm, we got a 95 over we got a 95 speed 
Dedrick Dorsey. 79 overall. Yes, he's a freshman. Evan Thornton's gonna be a good ass uh, tight end this year. He's gonna he's so is Dylan Sears and so is Roger Robert. They're all solid tight ends. Actually, I think Dylan Sears has a higher ceiling than uh, Evan Thornton. Nothing against Evan Thornton. He's just still gonna start this year, but you know, senior move a running back to fullback. You know, you you got a point. Let's see if we can find one. I would like to see a running back that weighs a little over 220 pounds, though. Try and take that position. Power back. One with a good strength ability. Ooh, Trey Birch. 69 overall fullback. You know what? We're going to do that. Yeah, good call. I think Trey Birch, power back. But he's got some decent speed, big size, you know, power back. He could play some. He could play some games as a redshirt freshman. Uh, we might have to cut him though, just because he's a forty overall. Um, left guard, offensive line is going to definitely improve this year. Um. Wow, Patrick Tompkins. Look at that. He might start as a freshman. So would McBride. Look at that. I kind of would like to have the three tight ends, though. Blocking, I think, is going to improve this year. Uh, Dubzinski... Um, he'll be fine. We need, we kind of would like three tight ends though, because of the simple fact that in case, and I know injuries don't happen a lot in this game, but I kind of like running two tight ends every now and then, especially in the, the, uh, smaller formations where it's near the goal line. So it's always good to have that third fullback or third tight end in there. Sometimes right end, sophomore core, uh, sophomore. Defensive tackles are looking solid. Got a freshman in here, in here who's already an 80 overall. Whew. Left outside linebacker, we got Clayton Therrigan. Um, got some decent speed. Um, nothing to really complain about, really. Um, Kyle Johnson could be a good player, too, with that speed over there on the left side. <clears throat> Jermaine Harris already got some decent speed there. Chaz Wallace Jr. He might get some playing time as well. Um, Scott Frazier, we already know what he can do. A lot of good corners on this team already. Uh, a lot of young players in the secondary. Ike, we need Ike Franklin to come back because he's the leader of the group now. And we need him to do his thing over in, in the corner. Free safeties. Ooh, we can move some of these guys over, actually. Sophomore Quentin Robinson. 71 overall corner. 78 strong safety. What's his man co What are these guys' man coverage like? 76 corner. What's my... Oh, yeah. We can move some of these guys over. 85 overall corner. We're going to do that. Because Tom Dunn is going to play... Um, we're going to put Henry Harrington at corner. We need that depth. We got a lot of young guys over there that I don't know if they should be playing right away. Um, Brandon Goodman, still at 85 corner. We got to put him there. Um, yeah, I feel like this is a smart play here. Got a lot of young bodies here in corner. Got a lot of young players here in strong safety, too. Good God. Athletes, we only have one. 78 overall running back, 52 fullback, 74 wide receiver, 55 tight end. Does he have any good tackling ability? 
he does. He's not the worst. He's good at corner, although we have a lot of corners. Free safeties, he probably wouldn't get much playing time. Uh, what's his best position running back? Ugh, I'd hate to do that. What's his speed? 94. Ooh, you know, he might actually be a good wide receiver. But he'd be the worst on the team. Mmm. We have two senior running backs as well. You know, we could put him at running back. We could put him at running back because we're, we're going to lose two running backs this year after this season. So, yeah, we'll put him there. Wesley Thompson, though. Jermaine McAfee is going to be one hell of a player this year. I think the offensive schemes are going to change a lot this year. Uh, considering that my depth at quarterback isn't necessarily the best. That's going to come back to bite me. Defense is going to really, really be. Move that left outside. Move which one, though? Those I have quite a few left outside linebackers. This one? Probably. I mean, he's already got a 69 fullbacks ratings and he's a power back I don't necessarily need him he can any running back should know that blocking is just as important see they're not even bad blocking stats he has better blocking stats than the fullback himself I think we're good So that's why Matthew Holmes is probably going to get cut because he's not that good. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Well, time to do the training results. Wesley Thompson is going to be like 105 overall. <laughs> I wish he could. I'd be hilarious. Ike Franklin, 98 overall. I just we're going to go position by position. Ooh, Jay Harris, 90 overall. Ooh. Tony Kendrick, uh, 79 overall as a soft, as a redshirt freshman. Yeah, we're going to cut some players, obviously. We kind of have to. Uh, this is good. Uh, 73 overall fullback. We got a lot of 90s now again in the receiving core. Uh, 98 speed Joe Ingram. He might be doing kickoffs this year. Might be doing kickoffs this year. Ben Smith. All oh, look at all these players, just beast wide receivers. David Benson, Justin Arnold. All these young guys here. These. This is your future receiving core right here. Rashawn Chase is gonna be gone this year. Joe Ingram might be the guy next year. Ben Smith's gonna be good gone after this year. So is Jacob Ingram. Um, Evan Thornton. Ooh, Dylan Sears is making a case to be a starter. He's got the size. But he doesn't have the speed. Which is fine. Look at the awareness that Evan Thornton brings to the table, though. So that's that's key. That that I think is key. Uh, Cedric Kerr, 83 overall. Philip Gardner, 84 overall. 
We got a 97 overall center in Trey Taylor. 97 Patrick Rivers. 90 overall Mike Wright. 88 overall Brent Holland. 48 overall. I don't know why he's 48. He's going to get tackled. Yeah, I got a really solid tight end battle going on. I got three tight ends over 80. Frank Dubzinski, 91 overall. He's a senior too. Oh! oh it's going to hurt my brain. Good battle here for left end. Zach Spence, 82 overall. Uh, Tyshawn Kemp, 93 overall. Clayton Trainigan, 80 overall. Jermaine Harris, 92, with an 83 speed at middle linebacker. George Davis, Chaz Wallace, 89 speed for a middle linebacker. That is fucking scary, dude. Scott Frazier, 88 overall as a sophomore. Ike Franklin, 98 overall. Henry Harrington, 90 overall. Brandon Goodman, 90 overall. Uh, Willie Dodds, 79 overall as a sophomore. Uh, Tom Dunn, 95. Adam Price, 84. Quentin Robinson, 83. Lonnie Wallace, 87. Um, no punters or kickers because we just got brand new ones, so they're not going to do the training results. But how many 90 overall plus do we have? We'll take a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 players with 90 overall or better. So not as many as last year. I think last year we had like 20 or 21 players that had 90 overall or better. But I don't know if we're going to be a 99 overall team. I think we're going to still start the season number one overall. We'll see. Next stage is going to be somewhat hard, but also somewhat easy. If I can't cut some of these players because of some, like, bullshit, like, yep, this. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Exactly what I was afraid of. Goodbye. Goodbye. So long. I got to keep him for the requirement of that position. That is bullshit. All right, five players I need to cut. Um, kind of want to keep Justin Austin. Kind of want to keep him. Um, any dead weight players besides him? He's just literally dead weight. He's not gonna get playing time anytime soon. I gotta keep that stupid fullback. Any, like, upperclassmen that are in the lower part of the depth chart that I could just get rid of? See, I like Chaz Wallace. He's probably going to get playing time this year because of his speed. Mmm. See, I always hate this process. Got so many freshmen. There we go. Easy. <sighs> Cut the dead weight. Oh, my back just cracked. 
Ugh. Custom conferences. We can move the we can move Notre Dame to the ACC and see what happens. How many nineties do I got? I think I've got like six straight. We can move UMass to the Independence. The Mac, the Mac attack. Mountain West. See, I like where the Mountain West is at right now. That's that's the thing. I like the where it's at because there's a lot of balance in the conference. Shit, even Boise State's been holding their own in the Pac-12. But that, yeah, I, I agree with part of it. See, even South Alabama. South Alabama's been doing all right for themselves. I think they could probably be put to a better conference. I'm going to put them in independence for now. Same with BYU. Um... But I think they're better than the Sun Belt, but not like. Because BYU, I feel like, could go out Mountain West. South Alabama could go to like. Mmm. I feel like they could be in the American. And UMass could go to the American too. Oh, nope, didn't want to do that. Dang. Custom conferences again. See, we put Notre Dame in the ACC. See, if we put UMass in the if we put UMass in the ACC, they're going 0 and 12. Um I think we got a perfect balance here now with South Alabama being in. All right, let's organize this a little bit too. Um, we should have a north and a south um, or east or west. So east would be like teams like East Carolina. Or actually, we, should, we could do north and south. Actually, no. I like how, the Conference USA already has like a, enough balance. I don't feel like that should be touched. We could do east and west. 
So this would be the east side here where we put south of Alabama there too because they're more eastern. Actually, Temple is more east than that. Are we overflowing on teams though? Because I kind of want to see every conference have a conference, every team have a conference championship. So, I mean, we technically could put Missouri back in the Big 12. And same with a and M. I kind of want to see every conference have a conference championship, though. So, we're going to have Big 12 North, Big 12 South. Big 12 North is going to include teams like Kansas, Iowa, Kansas, Kansas State, Iowa State. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Um... Louisville's not going to the SEC. They're not an SEC team. They're not even close to an SEC team. Um, Oklahoma and Oklahoma State. God, you could have a, a whole side of the conference just to go for Texas. Um, I want to see every conference have a conference championship. Notre Dame could go to the ACC. We have the American Conference Championship. We have a Big 12 Conference Championship. Big 10 still has theirs. Conference USA has theirs. Uh, the MAC still has theirs. Um... The Mountain West still has theirs. Um, we could get rid of Navy. Or, yeah, we could get rid of Navy. We'll put them in Independence for now. All right, there we go. So we got we still got a Mountain West championship. We still have a Pac-12. We have an SEC. We do not have a Sun Belt. Which that could go to the independent teams uh, like UMass. We could move lesser teams like the Rut Rutgers, for example. Then I don't think they belong in the Big Ten. We could move Rutgers over. You could move. How many more teams we got? We need one, two, three, four, eight. Two more teams. Navy does not belong in there. Um, but if that's a filler spot that we need to fill in, that we will. We already have the ACC filled, though. <clears throat> Purdue does need to improve, but they're uh, Purdue's like stuck in their ways in the Big Ten. Like they, if they're at any other, if they're anywhere else, I would like it. Does it wouldn't seem right, you know? Um, Mac has a championship. Mountain West has a championship. Pack 12. So the only one that doesn't have a team right now is the Sun Belt. <clears throat> Mountain West is perfectly balanced as is. So we have 12 teams in there. We have 12 teams in the MAC. 12 teams in the Conference USA. 13 in the Big Ten. So. That's a team that we we could take a team from the Big Ten. We have 12 teams in the Big 12, 12 in American, uh, 15 in the um, we have 15 in um, 
the ACC. Wake Forest could go. Wake Forest to the Sun Belt. Uh, because Missouri and Texas A&M used to be in the Big 12. They, if you didn't know that, that was a, like a fun little fact. That was back like pre-2013. Texas A&M and Missouri used to be in the Big 12. I think the first year that Texas A&M uh, and Missouri were in the uh, SEC, uh, Johnny Menzel was the quarterback for A&M as a, as a freshman, I think. Purdue is an option, I suppose. Um, that would only put 12 teams in the Big Ten. We don't necessarily need Maryland either, because Maryland doesn't seem like a Big Ten team either. They don't. I I don't like Maryland to, to all that much. Missouri's not good in the SEC. <laughs> You're saying that oh they're not good in the Big the Big Twelve. They're not even good in the SEC. Like, think about that one. <laughs> They're not even good in the SEC. We could move. Navy to the ACC. Or if there's another team in there that doesn't have quite the balance. Like if they're, if they're 13 looking for 14. For example, we could do that. Maryland sucks, though. Like, they do. They're a terrible football program. See, we got a lot of balance here. This would be an interesting conference, actually. Every conference has a conference championship now. Except for us, because we're lame. So, conference rules. Um, we're going to go east and west. Sunbelt East is going to be Georgia State, UMass. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So every team, this is gonna be the, this is gonna be West. Dude, we we got we don't need SMU and Houston in the Big 12. I mean, yeah, I think they used to be in the Big 12, but we don't need it now. We get everybody where we needed to be. Unless you want to move the unless you want to move Missouri and A&M to Conference USA or uh, American. I don't think those teams fit in the Big 12. Because they're not even that good in their own conference. By upgrading them in conference, by taking a bad team and upgrading them in the conference, you're you're enabling their or you're disabling their ability to grow as a team. So that's the re the reason why I moved South Alabama to the SEC is because they were succeeding in the Sun Belt, and they started doing decent for themselves in the SEC. So, they're not a terrible team now. 
now that you move them down a conference, they might actually start winning really good games. They might actually be a respectable program. You, think about what you just said. Moving rights to the SEC. Think about what you just said there. I'm not. I'm gonna be very, very cynical and I'm kind of being an asshole about it. Think about what you just said. Is Rice a good football team? Think about how good that football team is, and think about if you upgrade them conferences like that. How good? What level of competition would that bring? We're talking about levels of competition here. Think about what you just said. Navy has a chance of competing in a conference like the ACC because they've been consistently good for the past four years. They've been top five, top 10, top 15. Move them to the ACC. They don't need to be in the Mountain West anymore. They don't. They can move up a conference. Although I think the balancing in this conference is complete garbage. So we have even number, even number, even number, even number, even number, even, even, even. So the only uneven conference is the ACC. Um, I'm not. I'm done playing games for the night after this one. I have already played two games, and I'm already doing an off-season stream too. So I'm pretty tired. It's like 1:30 in the morning. Um, I think we got it right where we needed to. I kind of want to shift the balance of power a little bit, though, in the um, in the conference. Let's move. Let's move Miami and NC State. Create some competition in this conference. So we got five ranked teams. We got two and nine and five, ten, and three here. Um, we could put. What? No, that doesn't make any sense. Florida State is fine. North Carolina State is fine. We need every team to have a conference championship. If you put them in independence, that's going to put it back down. What's going on, Ian? The ACC is fine. Tulsa, we got two ranked teams here. Like, we don't, this, the power of, the balancing of power is fine. Uh, although. Let's let's, re, let's rename this Big Twelve North, Big Twelve South. We're just trying to make we're just trying to make sure that um, every team or every conference has a conference championship. So that way we're not like that way we're not like seeing teams go run the table or like they they do well in the conference. Kinda, and they kind of don't have anybody to play for like another game. Big 12 North, Big 12 South. NC State's also one of those programs that's just, they can have a bad year and they'll bounce right back. We have Big 10 Legends and Leaders, Big Conference USA. See, I would I would agree with that, but looking at what Nebraska and Iowa have done as a rivalry over the years, I think that kind I wouldn't say it supersedes it, but Nebraska Iowa rivalry is definitely a thing now. Um, has been for a while actually, even before Nebraska moved back to the big, was in the Big Twelve. 
Nebraska hates Iowa, and Iowa hates Nebraska. Because it's all about who grows better corn. And looks, and I'm going to tell you straight up, Iowa grows better corn. Because Iowa's the best fucking state ever. We don't have any ranked teams here. Mountain West, though, looks mighty, mighty fine. Uh, Mountain and West. Pac-12 North is pretty stacked, if you ask me. SEC has two ranked teams, including the SEC champion, South Carolina. Hard to believe that South Carolina's actually got the... Yes! I have, We heard it here from a Nebraskan himself. We got a confirmation from a Nebraskan himself that Iowa has the better corn. Yeah! I don't care where your dad grew up. He, I don't care if he grew up in Timbuktu. Nebraska still sucks. That football, anyway. I've never been to Nebraska personally, but their football team sucks. I hate their football team. I hate Nebraska. Because, oh, God, who was that name of the head coach? He was such a crybaby. And he always threw temper tantrums on the field. I think we're good on conferences, though, for right now. I think we're good. Every team's got a custom, uh, has a conference championship, except me, because I'm in the independent. Uh, um, and then we got Sunbelt, Sunbelt West, Sunbelt East. Oh, wait. Uh, American East, American West. Creighton University with basketball. Oh, yeah, in this one city. Isn't it in Omaha? So, technically, like, part of the Omaha suburb is, like, in Iowa. Council Bluffs. Although, Council Bluffs is a complete shithole. At least from what I've been told. I mean, we could do BCS tie-ins. I was just getting rid of the conference. I was just done customizing the conferences. We got the ACC champion, the Big 12 champ, Big 10, uh, Big 12, American, Pac-12, SEC, Conference USA, and the MAC. Tum was a shitty state any or a city a Tum was a shitty town anyway. Turn turn off automatic qualifiers. Oh yeah, so then the best of the best can get in. Oh, I like that. I actually really like that idea. Let's go with it. Oh, let's do it. No one gets an at no one gets at large bids. All right, it's all at large. Best teams. Best teams. That's how it should be for the BCS. Let's do it. At large bids. Everybody. Let's fucking do it. I like that idea. Ooh. 
cynical, but so tasty and so delicious. I'm not doing custom recruits. It takes too much time, and I don't have that much of it. I would like to get some sleep tonight, but maybe when I'm a full-time content creator, we can do something like that. Because believe it or not, I don't do this for a living. Set up that recruiting board. <sighs> what state do I live in? Iowa. That's why I say we have the better corn. <laughs> Star athlete, yo! Another five star athlete, yo, yo! Five star wide receiver, yo! Look at all these athletes, though. Look at all these players. These are sick. I'm gonna fill up this recruiting board fast. Jesus. Oh. I'm only going after four star recruits now. Screw this, man. What in the world? Look at all these players, man. Holy smokes. Ugh. Ugh. Gross. Five-star athlete, five-star athlete. Oh, my God. Stop. Look at left tackle. Oh, my God, people. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Interest level. Oh, hey there. We don't have any interest in tackle. We can always move players over. That's not the problem, I suppose. What do we need? We need a center on offense. Oh, we've got plenty of those. Defensive tackles. I think we got plenty of those lined up too. We could go look at all the positions again. Athlete. Probably. Athlete. Wide receiver. Athlete. Probably a. Depends on the skill set. Uh, athlete. Quarterback. Athlete. 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 Defensive tackle, strong safety, athlete, probably a wide receiver or a corner, uh, cornerback, outside linebacker, wide receiver, halfback, center, uh, wide receiver, halfback, corner, guard, wide receiver, quarterback, Uh, athlete, wide receiver, middle linebacker, middle linebacker, defensive tackle, running back, tight end, wide receiver, wide receiver, outside linebacker, uh, guard, tackle. How many are third on the list? 
wide receiver, athlete, uh, middle linebacker, guard, athlete, tackle, ooh, running back, I got one more space for one more player, and I'm going to use it on a defensive player. Oh, we only have, we have one. I just go for anything. I'm the number one team in the country. I could go whatever, I, I could go whatever the hell I want, you know. I could go for whatever the hell I want at this point. Uh, so let's start from the beginning with overall ratings. Uh, this guy is a athlete. Seventy-eight stays at seventy-eight. Seventy-eight stays at seventy-eight. Seventy-seven. Seventy-nine. Seventy-seven. Seventy-nine. All right, another good one. Quarterback seventy-six. Seventy. Ooh, that's a nice speed rating. Ray Dortch. He might be a legend someday. Derek Vickers. Seventy-five. Seventy-eight. 75, 76, 75, 75, 75, 75, 75, 77, 74, 75, 74, 72, gross, uh, 74, 76, okay, okay, Nine, this guy had a B speed. And then he boosts it up to a 96. Dope. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, look at these recruits. Oh, busted. Yuck. Appalachian State is not in this game. You have to use it off of Team Builder. All right, so now would be the perfect time. I cannot redshirt these guys because they are punters and kickers. Uh, so let's go by position. Redshirt Justin Austin. Um, redshirt Brian Water. As much as I don't want to, I feel like I should. Dedrick Dorsey, too many wide receivers, red shirt. Um, can't red shirt him. I'm not gonna red shirt a 97 overall center. Zubzinski. No, we could Richard Dominic Richard. Oh wow, look at that. That is that is nasty. That is so good. I can't redshirt him. Too good. Redshirt Kyle Johnson. Uh redshirt these two, obviously. Um I feel like I feel like these two, or these, yeah, these two specifically are going to get some playing time this year. And I think they're going to be needed at some point during the season. I'm not going to redshirt these guys. I'm going to redshirt these two. Can't redshirt my kicker and punter, though. That's fine. You know, I'm not upset by that. Depth chart. That's going to be big. Um, I have two quarterbacks that are 90 or above, but Wesley Johnson is probably going to be the starter this year. Jermaine McAfee, 98 overall. Jermaine, Jason Hanley, 94 overall. Brett Evans. Got a lot of good running backs. Trey Birch. 
perfect. A lot of good receivers on this team, too. Whew. You know I'm getting tired when I'm starting yawning. Oof. Fresh, freshman, Patrick Tompkins, freshman. We have a true freshman starting at offensive right, right tackle this year. True freshman. That guy's going to be special at, uh, right, at right tackle. Calling it right now. I'm going to start him. True freshman. Dubzinski, not surprised. Right end, we have... Wait, what's what's left end? Oh, I might put Chris Jones there. Or CJ Jones. Left end. Zach Spence is good, but it's, it's, Jones is better. Mm, a lot of good players here. Hmm. A lot of inexperienced players here in this in these positions. Jermaine Harris, 92 overall. Scott Frazier. Hmm. Kind of want my corners to get their experiences. Need my safeties to get their experiences as well. Uh, strong safety. Lonnie Wallace. Who's got my best, who's my fastest player? That'd be Joe Ingram and Ike Franklin. Do they have third down running back? Or they don't. Kickoff starter, Brandon Brown. Wesley Matthews, senior quarterback. All right. Custom schedules. Wow, this this schedule is weak as shit. Uh Our only ranked team that we have on here is Old Miss. All right. Let's not play Alabama this year. I kind of want to play somebody different. <laughs> um, ooh, Nebraska sounds interesting. Nebraska's number five? Wow. Now that might be a game that I could play. I want to do one game against FCS. Just to see how much I can dump it on them. Just to see how much I can dump on them. Alright, who's available week one? Nobody. Um, Auburn. I don't want to play Auburn. I hate playing Auburn. Ooh, Michigan State. 
Let's do it. Let's go at Michigan State. Although it's kind of looking like we're facing a bunch of Big Ten teams here. Cincinnati. Texas A&M. Washington. Alabama, Auburn, California. Ooh, see, yeah, California's got to be in there. Miami, Mississippi State, Northwestern. Duke. <laughs> Notre Dame's number two again. That's fucking bullshit. Georgia, LSU, Troy. Oh, my God. The top 25 is so boring. Stanford, Tennessee, USC, UTEP, Washington State, or not Washington, yeah, Washington State, Utah State, Ole Miss. Ooh, North Carolina would be cool. Oh! Georgia. I don't even think I'm gonna get all the same. I'm not gonna face this. Uh, you know, I got a, I got a really good schedule. Not gonna lie, but Cincinnati would be cool. Um, Vanderbilt. Might as well do Northwestern. Duke. Dude, FCS Southeast. I don't want to face these same teams over and over again, too, either. Rutgers. Are you serious? And like I, like I said last year, like, when I faced Oregon and I faced Michigan, both teams were top 25 ranked to start the season, and they weren't ranked at the end of the year, or by the time I faced them. We could do Florida State. I haven't. Well, I played Florida State already. So I don't want to face Notre Dame again. Heck, I think put, putting up Duke is more of a fight. Penn State, South Carolina, uh, Virginia, and Washington. Let's go Kentucky. You know, how many conferences are... We should face at least one team from each conference. At least one team from each conference. So... I mean, technically we could go to Hawaii. Hawaii and Nebraska. Actually, I don't even think we could build off a tangible uh, thing here with that being said we got Hawaii Nebraska we're gonna go at Michigan State at home against Cincinnati at California 
at home against Northwestern at Duke at home against Florida I don't want to face Rutgers I really fucking don't ugh that's gross this UAB team could probably beat the Browns at home against North Carolina at UCLA Oh, this is going to be so tough. I don't want to face Alabama again. Because I've owned them the past six seasons. This is always the toughest part. Oh, dude, Boise. Boise would be fun. We could do at Boise. Well, actually, we could do at home against Boise. So, it puts... Our last game is week 13. Oh, that's not good for us. That's not good for recruiting. We got to open that game back up. We, that would not be good for recruiting at all. We need at least a week 14 or week 15 game um, for recruiting purposes. Hell, if we did FCS Southeast in week 15... We need a game. We need a game at least this late in the season. Let's regenerate. I need a I need a better game. I need a better scheduling here. Well, Hawaii was there before, and now they're not. So, something tells me that shit was changed. Cincinnati. California. Yeah, Michigan State's not there anymore either. We can open up that game. Or we can't. Shit. Um, Texas Tech would be interesting. Oh, you got to be kidding me. face Navy I don't want to face Vanderbilt either because Vanderbilt's trash and like I would love to see a top 25 team like I would like to see all top uh, all 12 games be top 25 teams but it's just not going to happen this time around. I don't feel like. I 
I've already faced Stanford, and I've, I've faced all these teams before. Utah State. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. South Carolina would be interesting. I feel, yeah, South Carolina is the most interesting. I mean, I could go at South Carolina, really. Actually, I would like that at home, actually. University of Spoiled Children. No more. Screw Tennessee. They're going down. Washington State. Um, at home against Florida. At Texas Tech. Actually, we could go home here and a road here. Two road games in a row. Face Utah State. That would be a blowout. <clears throat> so we got one, two, three, two, three, four, five, six. Six home games, six road games. Not every one of them alternates, but that doesn't really matter all that much. Um, as long as we got six and six, I think we're fine. This is probably the best schedule we would have gotten, guys. We're not facing Alabama this year. I don't really care to face Alabama every single year. Especially if I have the chance of facing him twice. Fuck that. I do like ruining the national championship hopes, but... I don't think they're going to make it to the national championship, so I don't have to face him this year. I kind of like the Hawaii matchup. Because I just want to see. I just like. This is giving me a different schedule than usual. Because there's a lot of interesting teams in the top 25 this year. A lot of interesting teams. Not your usual top, top, uh, top 25. So, all right. I think we're ready to start the season. Ooh. God damn, I'm tired. Iowa in this dynasty, at least eventually. I'm surprised I just didn't do, didn't do that this time around. Maybe, maybe sometime though. All right, top 25. How is it looking? Are we undecided? Are we undisputed? Still a 99 overall. Still. I I don't know how, but we will take those. Miami's looking pretty solid. Alabama's number six. They have a D minus in special teams. That's hilarious. I 
Iowa is ranked 44th. Good offense, terrible defense, average team. Arkansas State is labeled the worst team in the country. A lot of weird teams here, though. Of course Alabama's overrated. Heisman watch. Who's the Heisman favorite? Josh Rucker from Clemson. Nicholas Bell from Notre, uh, from Navy. Jarrett Hugh Hall Miller from TCU. Daryl Waller from South Carolina. And Elliot May Meyer from uh, Miami. Conference outlooks. Who is projected to win said conference? Notre Dame is predicted to win the ACC. And they're supposed to be facing Navy in the conference championship. Cincinnati's predicted to win the uh, American. And their opponent in that title game would be Tulsa. Yeah, Wesley Thompson's going to come up and steal it, though. Watch. Oklahoma... Versus the Missouri, Missouri's predicted to win the Big 12 North. I guess that's really not saying a whole lot though, because their competition is kind of, kind of low. They don't really have much for competition. Big 12 South is just absolutely loaded. Nebraska's projected to win the Big 10 against Michigan State. Uh, Middle Tennessee State's projected to win the. Uh, Conference USA against Southern Miss. Um, Central Michigan's predicted to win the MAC against Bowling Green. Air Force is predicted to win the Mountain West against San Diego State. Uh, Pac-12, Stanford's projected to win against USC. And... Alabama's projected to win against uh, South Carolina. And Wake Forest is projected to win the Sun Belt against Texas State. That's, this, this is going to be a shit show, but it's going to be an awesome shit show. Because Maryland's not that good. Okay, Rutgers may run away with that conference. I'm surprised they're not projected to win that. But Rutgers has always been disappointing. Always, always overrated. Oh, uh, it always disappoints. Preseason All-Americans, who we got? Not even, Wesley Thompson's not even, not even a, not even a first-team All-American projected. I think he's about to sh shock the world this year. We got two pre. Two, three, four players that are projected to be first team All American. Second team, we have one, one player. We have four projected All Americans. Just four. Just four. And we're still number one across the board. Look at that. Through the year 2026, we're still number one across the board. That is fucking tits. Next year, Florida's supposed to be number two. We'll see how that goes. Number 2025, Oklahoma's supposed to be number two. And in 2026, Oklahoma's supposed to be number two again. USC's supposed to be three. We'll see how that goes. Um, who's supposed to be number four? Oregon? Really? And Michigan. And Miami. Miami's keeping it pretty consistent, though. I like it. That's pretty nice. The consistency from Miami is actually good. So we're going to simulate week... Or actually, we're going to get recruiting points up first, and then we're going to simulate week one. 
Um, no scouting or have not scouted. Fifteen players. Whoa, bruh, bruh, we got a gem. Oh, got another one. Oh, another one. Nut. Let me just nut all over my keyboard. Holy shit. Ooh, God, we're getting some good recruits. Man, some of them are, there's not really any bust, but there's some of them that just aren't as good as advertised. Oh, there we go, we got our first bust. Bobby Williams. He's third. Well, he's not going to accept a scholarship right away, but we're going to go after him. Yes! 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 79 overall. He's one of those guys. Oh, man. Signed a gem prospect. Let's go. Oh, he is a gem. Oh my God, he committed. Let's go. Oh my God. What is this? Oh, I couldn't go three for three. Beast. Indeed, dude. In fucking deed. All these cool all these cats are getting scholarships. Are you kidding me? These guys are beasts. This might be the best recruiting class I've ever had. Oh, I couldn't get the strong safety. Oh couldn't get the kid from Iowa. Let's see what we can get on the board. Oh, he's a bust. You know, for a three star athlete, he's not terrible. I might go after him, actually. Yeah, for a three-star athlete, he looks pretty solid, actually. 71 overall. Let's see how good he actually is. 
He might be a gem. Solid. You know what? He won my heart. He didn't commit. But damn. He sure is he sure as hell impressed me. That he's gonna be a stud, man. Same with this guy. He's got pretty good tackling ability. He might be able to play some defense. Do we offer him? Yeah, we offered him. Alex Thornton. I don't think he's worth the scholarship. Um, this guy might be. Nah, not really. Um, I'm going to try and stream UAB next week. Does this guy have upside? No, he's got downside. Uh, downside, downside. Okay, so we now need to focus on... Um, we have focused on the players that we don't have. Okay, we need to go to organize this the biggest lead. We need to put our full focus on Jared Carter, or like 350 points on Jared Carter. 350 here. It'll give me an idea of where each one of these guys is at. The way. Hey, if we get this guy. If we get this guy, we're calling him the rock. His name's Dwayne Johnson. We're calling him The Rock. Go after a top player just for the hell of it. I've already got some top players, man. That's the thing. I think I got some top players already. Actually, take him down to zero. I think I've done that once. I, didn't, I was like, yeah, I got him, but then it's like, eh. Oh, I don't want to lose this guy. Three hundred.
Yeah, I'm gonna put him down to zero. So I want to get at least some points on at least all the guys that I need. this simulation here we're going to end off the stream I'm tired of shit yo I swear to God, if they put me at number two, I swear to God, I will, I will throw this game out the window. This game has been notorious for putting me at number two for some odd reason. Ooh, Nebraska's at number four now. See, I didn't even put points on, but with the bonus, that should help. Same with this. Okay, this guy's pretty well covered at this point. James Fry is basically covered. Now we're gonna play the tip for tat game. Go 320. Oh, nope, not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do. Gotta add a couple more points here so they stay away from my quarterback. He's gonna commit to UAB. It's 
Stay away from my center. I don't have to put points on him. I don't have to put a points on him either. He's mine. Um I could go 300 points here on this guard. I offer him a scholarship, so that helps. He has a 320 point lead. That's going to be a tougher one. I can catch up with some nice dubs, but it's going to be tough. Uh, Bobby Williams. Got a couple of athletes though. I'm doing pretty damn good in that department. Georgia Tech in the top 25 after they upset uh, Notre Dame. Georgia beat Arkansas. Ar Auburn beat Arizona State. All right. So, Kerr Perp Street is on drugs again, thinking that Nebraska has a chance to beat me, but they're not going to. Anyway, I'm going to end the stream off for the night, Gail. It's like 2.30. I'm tired, but I've had a blast tonight playing uh, Season 10 on the now Season 11 of the UAB Blazers Dynasty. Um, a new era has begun in Birmingham, and it's going to be interesting for sure. I will talk to you guys next time. Peace out.